William, <laughs> William Morris Gallery. And uh, this is my campaigning uh, art van. So I drove around Camberley, uh, Michael Gove's constituency, in this VW 1984 camper van, trying to get people to vote for Bob, to be bob optimistic and vote for more art in schools. And uh, I was extremely successful. I got 273 votes to Michael's 32,000. The show Art Is Your Human Right is looking at uh, four or five years of campaigning works. A lot of them are quite didactic. <laughs> you know, with art, you're meant to look at art and think, there's a bit of space here to negotiate how I feel about this art artwork. But with a lot of these artworks, it's telling you, you know, in a way, you know, it's telling you what to think, but it's trying to reveal the root of something. You know, we all think the arts are important. Actually, I think quite conservative politicians think the arts are important. But what I'm trying to, trying to explore is the root of politically why we think the arts are important. It really starts with uh, trying to campaign to save Old Flow, uh, which was a Henry Moore sculpture, uh, which Tower Hamlets owned, uh, still owns, thankfully. And, uh, and then out of that came a campaign to try and better advocate the arts to government, really. So a lot of the works in this exhibition are about saying why the arts are important. You know, they're important for uh, the creative economy. 71.4 billion pounds is earned for the economy through the creative industries. Kids who go to art school may not become great artists, but they contribute to the creative economy. You know, we teach graphics, musical instrument making, uh, architecture, teach all sorts of things in art schools and to get into art school you need to do art at school and so art at school is very important for the economy but more importantly than that I think and that's really the focus of this exhibition is to say that art is part of what we are as human beings it's um, art is about freedom of expression and so a lot of these a lot of the more recent works begin to explore this idea about artists around the world being under threat, really. Uh, bloggers in Saudi Arabia, uh, poets in Qatar, um, Ai Weiwei, Royal Academician, <laughs> was locked up for 80 plus days in China. Artists around the world are just people who want to enjoy the freedoms that we all enjoy.